In Scrum, we have three roles, Product Owner, Scrum Master and Development Team. The role of the Product Owner is to control everything that goes into Product Backlog. Product Backlog is the list of everything that you need to do in the project. It is mostly high value, high risk user stories and user stories are the requirements of stakeholders. Product owner get those user stories from all the stakeholders, get them prioritized as high value, high risk using Moscow and other techniques. Then the team comes, the development teams, the self-organized team, the team will say, okay, how many story points? That is the effort required to each com to complete each user story is. Once we agreed on those story points using Fibonacci series, affinity estimation, or ideologues, we get the consensus using planning pokers or wideband Delphi. Now we have our prioritized product backlog with their story points. We make a sprint plan in sprint planning. We make sprint backlog. The list of the requirements that we are going to work in one particular sprint, which is normally one to four week of duration. Now the development team starts working on those user stories. We have daily stand ups, 15 minutes meeting, same time, same location, as answering only three questions. What would you do tomorrow? What you have done yesterday? And is there any impediment roadblocks? We use information radiators, task board, showing the status, scan man board, having work in progress limit, uh, burn down chart, work remaining in the process and burn up chart, uh, work done so far. All this information radiator shows the status of work done. Scrum Master is a facilitator, servant reader, facilitating the team, helping the team to complete every single thing that has to be done. And then in the sprint review, when the sprint ends, product owner and everyone comes with the acceptance criteria and check is this user stories according to the agreed acceptance criteria or not? And if they are accepted, it goes into product increment. If they are rejected, it goes into product backlog. Any user story that is not completed, it goes back into the product backlog. And new user stories can be added here in the product backlog. We reprioritize the product backlog that is called grooming or refining the product backlog. After that, we have a sprint retrospective that is five stage lesson learned meeting. Set the stage, get the data, generate insight, decide what to do and close the retrospective. So this is the entire framework of Scrum. Three roles, three documents, product backlog, sprint backlog, product increment, five events. Uh, sprint itself one to four week duration sprint planning daily stand up sprint review and sprint retrospective and that is the entire scrum in less than three minutes i hope that makes sense about the scrum